in today's video, I'm gonna be playing dead roleplay games, or roleplay games with zero players, so to speak. Starting off, we got Chaos County, California. This is a new roleplay game that takes place in Southern California. So yeah, let's hop in directly. Okay, so as I'm loading into the game, I met with this little car dealership here. I don't know whether it's a dancing Shrek, but I like it not uh let's go spawn a car and see what this is all about so you can purchase any vehicles in here if you got any cash i've already bought a car before i think but yeah i got this 2016 ford expedition let's spawn it then all right so when you spawn your vehicle you immediately get inside of it and honestly i have a few key points i want to mention there's this irritating beeping sound that disappears when you press b putting on your seatbelt. but when you press b and put on your seatbelt, you have this horrible camera instead yeah i don't like that at all so we're gonna have to go with the beeping sound. Now there is a lot of gloom and boom here. As you can see, everything is like completely flashed up. That's something that I would recommend changing. However, the map itself doesn't look too bad. Maybe it could have a few more details. I'm guessing the roads and stuff, but I don't have too much to complain about the map itself. The vehicles are your average roleplay game vehicles, just with an annoying beeping sound. You also have a phone down here. You can contact an Uber. Uh, you have a bank you can log into to need a loan yes i do need a loan <laughs> you have a music app spotify maybe you shouldn't name it spotify you're gonna get cancelled all right so let's close down the phone and let's check out the settings graphics hi i think we already have high game pass shop oh no this looks so bad all right well let's leave that let's go on to the team section so let's join the police team and see what this is all about oh, i still hear the beeping sound it's not even with the car okay well for some reason we got binoculars we have a flashlight that's cool key card cuff taser oh it works but you can see the tasing thing and we got a radar gun all right i like that they have named the places where to walk uh, over here we got the locker room let's go check out and see if there's anything we can do in here okay so there are uniforms and stuff so that's good to see we also have different shotguns you have a beanbag shotgun and you have a mossberg actual like real shotgun here we got your vests and stuff looks pretty good here we got different hats even this hat right here maybe this is for swat and you got some pistols i like the fact that you are actually able to grab guns here that's pretty cool but holy heck the recoil is like shooting a desert eagle <laughs> I think these are two completely different gun kits. I don't know what gun kit this is. I honestly can't tell. But this gun kit right here is used in all these hood games. As you can hear by the sound effects. You have probably heard it somewhere. This though, I haven't seen this one. Motor pool. Yeah, let's go see if we can spawn a police vehicle. Purchase. Oh no. Oh yeah, these cost a lot. Holy heck. Okay, well let's go with the Ford Crown Victoria. Alright, so first thing I notice is there are no liveries. So you're kind of unmarked directly. That's not very cool. There doesn't seem to be a button to turn your lights on. Like your normal headlights. But you can turn on the ELS, which is good. <laughs> I would say the ELS is decent. not Nothing crazy. But you could definitely see some improvements with this game. It's in a pretty alpha build right now, not gonna lie. Next, we got Lost in Compton Alpha. I've already done a review on the game. But it's a cool game that is worth checking out again. Again. First of all, copyrighted music in the beginning, of course. But you see, we are whitelisted because we're in the Discord server. We can just press play here. We're copyright music, okay. So here we can customize our character. First of all, we can choose gender. I'm, of course, male here. Where am I? I don't know. Uh, choose your name. Christian Smith. That's a new name. Choose your race. White American. No, I'm a white European, but we're going with white American. No skin selected. Um, pale. Let's go with that. Choose your shirt. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this. Age 21. <laughs> <laughs> by finishing this character customization yeah yeah i'm gonna just do that okay so we have zero servers here let's just press random and see if we actually end up in something all right so we're loading into the game here we got the rules your average roleplay rules let's just accept and continue now first of all this is a really detailed game you see the map is extremely well made i'm not sure if these developers made it or not but i like the map either way now it has this kind of like person break movie vibe with the sound effects and that's cool now we are of course as you can see in los santos or los angeles whatever you want to name it and we actually have some cool things i want to share so if you press x you actually have this phone menu in here you can check your contacts you can see your bank balance you can cash app people you have google maps so you can locate for example the, the sheriff station as you can see now we got a waypoint there you can of course also call people that's really cool now this game is actually receiving an update i think this week which is awesome because that means that this game will most likely be greater than ever before which is good to see but the community is really small so that's 
why I'm making this review to kind of like increase the player count or whatever. Increase the people wanting to play it. So here, I think we can actually join this team and we're not. I'm not entirely sure, but I can walk inside and I can open all these different doors. That's something that doesn't always happen. Oh, here we got the equipment armory. Yeah, I'm unable to access that because I'm not a cop. How do I actually become a cop though? Vehicle spawner? Oh wait, I can spawn police cars while it's not being a cop? Oh, that's crazy. You hear the sound effect though? When I'm locking my car? That's like the GD4 sound effect. I love it. Yeah, so yeah, the cars are like kind of blocky yet not blocky. They're very unique that way. These cars are pretty nice. They're easy to drive, easy to understand. And yeah, what's cool with the phone is that when you get a call, you can actually just bring up the location thing and, you know, see where to go. But the issue is, since I'm not a cop, I'm unable to leave the parking lot. But you get the point. These are some great police cars. Really nice. But also an issue with this game is that you can't really do much at the moment. Like, you understand what I mean? Guess what? The other one, there doesn't seem to be anything you are able to actually do as of right now. Unless there's lots of people on and, you know, you manage to find out what to do do in the game because there are features like you can go and do stuff in the game but the map is huge so like finding what to do that's the hard part you know you can probably go and start a, a business in the game right now and buy some guns you know if you if you know what kind of business i'm talking about it's possible it's doable but the question is how i think the developers should make a tutorial like video on the game explaining how and what to do because you know, games like these can be pretty hard to understand unless there is a tutorial because roleplay games like these are a lot more advanced than your ordinary game. But yeah. Here we got yet another roleplay game that only has one active player. It's essentially a game without players at the moment. This isn't a very new game, but it's small, so we're gonna check it out. Okay, so this is the menu screen. It's a little boring, I would say. Being honest, you know. But we're gonna load in and see what this is all about. Okay, so cool. We spawn here in this parking lot. We got a car spawner. Let's see what what this is all about there doesn't seem to be an economy system based on the fact that i can spawn a car or yes you know pressing a car but i'm also not able to get inside the car that i spawned which is weird but let me try to spawn another car or maybe i spawned a vehicle that wasn't allowed to be you know driven by me because i don't own a game pass or whatever let's try the king ranch whatever that is seems like all these cars here is truck oh yeah we can actually drive this one that's cool but yeah these cars are pretty pretty nice Nice. Um, I do notice with this roleplay game, but they don't have that many features implemented as well. It's like the Texan County, you know? But there isn't a clear thing to do, you know? There isn't a team changer. You have a fishing rod. So that's interesting. We're gonna check that out. But as you can see, you can just drive endlessly down these roads on this huge map with seemingly nothing to do. That's the difference between big roleplay games and small roleplay games. Because big roleplay games have lots of features implemented and small roleplay games have almost none. And it's clear as a day that this game could be improved a lot with just a few extra things added now obviously it's not easy just adding feature after feature i understand that but as of right now this looks more like a driving game than a roleplay game but this is a beautiful map and i'm not able to drive up this mountain which is interesting i haven't really done that in a long time in roblox let's find out if we can fish up on the mountain or something because that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for a fishing spot oh yeah this is an endless mountain of course but there seems to be some kind of park up here no water though maybe we need to turn left down here oops that was a little too much left you know this is impossible to find your way around as well you know there are hundreds of different roads going all sorts of directions and now i just fell down obviously i did but yeah you get my point these games have no clear features that you can actually mess around with but i have successfully found a water source so let's find out if the fishing rod works so we have a fishing rod now the question is is this usable um yeah that's the big question. I don't think it is usable. Do we have a fishing rod that's not even usable? Oh no. Yeah, honestly guys, all these games have this alpha build feeling. I think that's kind of what's keeping them dead. Now this is purely feedback. Developers, please do not take this as hate because I understand how hard it is to make a game. But all these games listed in this video can see big improvements. And I can definitely see the player counts going up if they actually start implementing these features. For example, this game has a great map. But maybe the map isn't the big issue in this game. Maybe it's the features themselves. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And see you in the next video. Bye.